Hey guys, it is Cheesy here, and today I'm bringing you another Battlefield 1 analysis video. In this video, I'll be going over the confirmed game modes that have been revealed for Battlefield 1. I'll be making a bunch of videos like these, so if you enjoyed this one, make sure to check out my previous videos and to subscribe. So far, three multiplayer game modes have been confirmed. This includes the new Operations game mode. Starting off with the old modes, we have the Return of Conquest, and this is pretty obvious, but I am glad that they didn't get rid of it for some reason. Uh, on the Battlefield website, which I will link in the description if you want to follow along, it says that an all-time fan favorite of Battlefield players, Conquest, is a large-scale game mode with up to 64 players fighting for the control of key objectives. With large armies on foot or behind the wheel and the addition of fearsome behemoths, Conquest brings together all the elements of the signature Battlefield all-out war. So this isn't a surprise, we already knew that 64 player games were returning, and it also mentions behemoths, which are essentially really big vehicles such as battleships, armored trains, and zeppelins. I think it would be really interesting if they implemented a mode or a capture point like Hotwire in Battlefield Hardline, where one of the capture points is a vehicle, or, or at least just moving. So uh, I think this could be really cool if there's like a capture point that goes around the map. But uh, on to the next game mode, we have Domination, and this is another returning mode, and this is literally just a mini version of Conquest. Uh, it, is, it is described on the site uh, saying that Domination offers a fast-paced, infantry-focused combat in close lo quarter locations. It's a smaller but more focused version of Conquest, and the fighting revolves around strategic objectives. Ready your shotgun and sharpen your hatchet. In the Domination game mode, things tend to get close and personal. So I think this mode could be preferable um, compared to large conquests if you're new to Battlefield, because it sounds like Battlefield 1 will have a close quarters approach, but other than that, this isn't really a surprise. So now, lastly, we have the new game mode, which is called Operations. On the site, it says that Operations is a completely new way to experience Battlefield multiplayer, giving you the opportunity to fight on an entire front of the Great War. In a sequence of the of interconnected battles, a team of attackers attempts to conquer ground and push the front line forward as the defenders are trying to push them back. Should the defenders fail to hold their ground on a map, the operation doesn't stop there. They will fall back and regroup on a different map while the attackers will push the assault. Sectors may fall, but players reinforced by gig gigantic behemoths can still turn the tide. So there's also a separate article about operations saying that battles will be based on real fights which occurred. Uh, there will be one side of attackers trying to push back the line and another team of, defactor, of defenders trying to hold it. And at the end of the article, it states that with operations, they want to create a huge mode that can be played for up to an hour long. And they're also trying to bring in immersion and make the player feel as if they're truly in a World War I battle. So I think this is a great addition to the Battlefield franchise, if done correctly. But... Like, if it is done right, the mode can bring in some of the best Battlefield moments to date, but my only concern is that, uh, at the moment at least, is playtime. Like, a match that spans an hour or even more could be tiresome. I realize that maps will be changing, however, there'll still be like the same objective to push back the line, and it could get boring, and if I'm stuck with a really bad group of players, uh, and I'm doing, or I'm doing badly in a game, I, you know, might not want to do well or might not want to play anymore, but I trust that DICE will implement this well. So that is pretty much for it this for this video, guys. Uh, make sure to subscribe and check out my other Battlefield videos for more Battlefield 1. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to leave a like or drop a comment on what you think of the new operations mode. But for now, I will see you guys later. Bye.